Now, can I say something uh, concerning the vaccination? I had not said something. It's a prophetic message that God gave me concerning the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccination. Now, I prayed about it, asking God about this thing as a prophet, and the Holy Spirit, now listen, I'm not. Now, he said to me, when this vaccination starts, or these vaccines come, I don't want you to take it. If you want to continue in ministry five years from now, if you want to continue in ministry and to see your destiny, to see your vision, the visions that I gave you, if you want to see my plans concerning your life and your destiny that I designed for you, don't take this vaccine. Don't take any vaccine, believe in me, and continue worshiping me, and you will live long. So this is, that's why I was quiet about it, because I wanted an instruction from the Lord. So the Lord was saying, don't take it. If you want, I, I was shocked that God is saying, don't take this COVID vaccine. If you want to continue being in ministry five years from now, what does that mean? So which means, let's watch people that are getting this vaccine four, five years from now. What will be happening? I said, watch four to five years from now. Watch them. So I thank God that our government in Zimbabwe has announced that it's a voluntary issue. It's not mandatory. They are not going to force people because otherwise I was not going to agree even if it is a mandatory thing or a forced thing because God said to me, if you want to see the destiny that I have purposed for you four to five years from now, don't take this vaccine. If you want to continue seeing after five years, my plans for you. So which means God is communicating something that there is something somewhere that can cut my life short. So I will not despise any person who would want to take this vaccine of COVID because of their own understanding and belief. But I'm talking what God said to me as a prophet to me that don't take it no matter what, even if there is a country or a nation that has got a mandatory vaccination, don't visit those countries. You would rather stay in your nation. You would rather stay at home than travel if you want to continue preaching the gospel. So this is what the Lord spoke to me. This is what the Holy Spirit told me, and it was so powerful when he whispered to me that, and I was so shaken because I had not yet gone uh, maybe on the pulpit for some time about this issue. That's why you saw I was just a little bit quiet about, the, about it because I had not yet received divine communication from God. So I cannot, as a prophet, prescribe how you must treat this virus. But I'm just telling you what God told me. The answer was very personal to me. It was very personal that don't take it if you want to live long. So it's up to you if you want to take it or not. May God bless you. So I know the vaccine may be coming into this nation. It will be maybe in South Africa, many other nations. Uh, if I have got a communication that I am to give specifically to the eagles concerning uh, some of the things God revealed to me. I will not do it on social media. Yeah, we must be at a time, maybe when we are now meeting physically, that's when I will give instructions of broadcasting. And then as sons. But I think if you are an eagle and you are my son, 
you have got spiritual ears to hear, hallelujah, what the Holy Spirit will be saying to you. So let us pray. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now for all the people that are watching in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you, O oh Lord, O oh Father, for those that were connected, who saw the grace, O oh Lord, who were listening to the teaching. May you multiply them. May you bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. I worship your name, and I thank you, O oh Lord, O oh my God, for what you told me about the vaccine that is coming in Zimbabwe. O oh Lord, O oh Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus for your personal communication that you did to me. I now pray for my sons out there. I pray for the daughters of the prophet out there. I pray for their protection. I pray for their glory. I pray for long life. I pray for grace over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for everyone that was watching. I now cover them. I bless the offerings. I bless the tithes that your people have given. May they multiply from today in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Zimbabwe. God bless you, the rest of the world, and all those who are watching. Keep, uh, keep on following us. Uh, keep on following and liking uh, Prophet Dr. B.S. Chisa's page on Facebook and YouTube as we post a lot of prophecies and spiritual and prophetic direction. God bless you so much. Amen. See you on Tuesday. Those who continue following us, I will be doing Tuesdays and Fridays until the lockdowns are, are over. I will be doing from home and Sundays from our studio. God bless you. I love you so much. Amen. See you again next time.